Hey guys, welcome to my channel Electronics Media. So in the last video I have explained about how to take care of pulse transferring from one clock domain to another clock domain that is pulse to pulse synchronizer. So in this video I am going to explain about a uh, handshake based uh, synchronization technique. So basically this technique can be used from you know transferring a pulse from uh, or any signal from one clock domain to another clock domain. So the irrespective of whether it is a faster to slower or slower to faster domain. So I will just explain this concept through the waveforms and then we'll see how it looks like in the circuit okay so gets let's get started this is my clock a okay and uh, i'm going to put this something like this this is my clock a okay and uh, i have a signal okay which is uh, pulse on this clock domain A like this this is a PA okay and uh, what I am going to do is if my clock domain B as I explained my previous video so if my clock domain B is a faster domain so you are likely to miss that pulse right so this is my if this is something like this because you are going to sample this in this uh, at this edge of the clock B so you are likely to miss out this pulse because it at this time my input P A that's a pulse is zero so you are going to likely you are likely to miss that uh, pulse in the destination domain now what I will do is I am going to set this signal or this is my assume I am going to make it as a request okay this is a generic term I am going I'm using so this is a request so what happens is when my pulse A comes in I am going to set this request to high okay so this is assert it gets asserted now what I am going to do is I am going to sample this request in my clock domain B okay so what happened essentially at this point I have this signal set so I sampled this okay in my clock domain B now this is set now what I will do is since I captured this signal in my destination domain I am going to give a feedback from my destination domain to the source domain in the okay this is my sampled signal sampled signal B okay uh, in the clock domain B so that's a and this is my act, act, act signal okay now I'm going to give a act back to the source domain okay uh, so this is my act which I have given now what happens is when my source domain it sees the acknowledgement from the destination domain it is going to okay it is it has seen the okay so this is my clock right uh, so it has seen the at this point it has seen my acknowledgement from the destination domain so it is going to bring back my you know request to zero okay so what happened then my sample signal in the b domain that also comes down here okay if you see then what happened again this pulse like this okay it's uh, then the acknowledgement also comes down because my source has made this you know uh, so request down then what we will do is we will use this window to get the pulse on the domain B so this is the concept that we are going to use to synchronize uh, it's a, it's a, this is basically called a handshake based, based synchronizer or the racket based uh, synchronizer or also it is called a um, uh, you know a four phase uh, synchronization technique so what you do you are going to set this uh, you you have a pulse pa okay in the clock domain a you are going to set this request when there is a pulse comes in okay and then you have a what you will you are going to sample this uh, request in the destination domain and then you are going to generate an acknowledgement from the destination domain and that destination domain what you will do uh, the, the acknowledgement signal that is coming from the destination domain is sent back to the source domain and the source domain samples this and then it brings down this uh, request and then so my 
uh, sampled signal B and my acknowledgement also goes down and then you are going to generate a pulse. Okay. So I will just draw the circuit for this, how it looks like. This is a standard practice usually used in the industries. So of course this also has a limitation that it cannot generate continuously pulses. So if there are, if the if if your design uh, if it is continuously generating the pulses and all right like then you have to ensure that you are going to capture those pulses and uh, um, you know as a kind of a counters and then you generate the pulses from there. So it's uh, impossible to you know uh, design something which is like you know uh, it's. Uh, uh, if it's uh, the source domain is continuously generating the pulses and you're, it's impossible to capture those in the destination domain without you know uh, having uh, you know kind of counters and all. So you need to because you know your design how it works. So you will have uh, some kind of limitations. So you you will mention those things your limit design limitation. So then that you know kind of it can be waved off okay in your design some of the things okay. So now I'll draw the circuit so what happened as I explained so this is my uh, this is my D flop this is my Q okay I'll just draw it this side okay this is my D flop this is my Q flop this is my clock A what we have we have this pulse that is A pulse A this is my max. This is zero. When pulse comes in, what we are we were trying to do? So we were trying to set the signal to a level, set a level signal. So that for that, what we will do is we will make a this as one. So when the pulse comes in, so my output of this max will be set to one. Okay. Now the clearing mechanism we will come to that. Okay. So now this is my output. It is going to the destination domain B. So this is a kind of a request signal okay this is a kind of a request signal which goes out and it is being sampled in the destination domain. So I am just going to draw a this is my double synchronizer and then this is my output of the double synchronizer which I am going to feed to the one more level of flop okay. This is my this is all of these uh, clocks are clock domain B. So now what happened? Uh, we have to generate a pulse from here. So this is my output. This is my. This is the output. Uh, pulse on the destination domain. Now, as I explained, so we are trying to synchronize this request in the destination domain. Similarly, we have to generate an acknowledgement also, right? So this is my acknowledgement. So that means when my request is sampled and it is flop. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking this tapping from the signal from over here and then I'm feeding this as a acknowledgement. So that means acknowledgement for what? Acknowledgement for the signal that you have captured in the destination domain. That is a request has been captured in the destination domain. So that's why I'm going to feed a uh, give a feedback to the source domain. So this is my source domain. Okay. Now in the see now this signal again this signal is also coming from the destination domain B, right? So now it is possible that in the source domain, while capturing this signal, your, uh, you know, this signal uh, can go into metastable state also, the captured signal, okay? So that's the reason, again in the destination domain, right? Here, we will have a two flops, that is back to back to back flop, that's called a double synchronizer, again, double sync, we will have it, and then we will feed it, and we will take it out, and then, what happened here uh, you don't have to you know uh, have this kind of uh, you know pulse generating logic but instead you can just get the signal and then you feed it uh, pulse zero so again okay here one more level of signal is required this is one so this is my output this is zero this is one This is zero. Okay. So what happens? This is my double sync. When you seize the acknowledgement, 
what happens this is going to a select one of the marks okay and when the pulse is seen one so it's a level signal is seen so my output of this mux becomes zero so that time what happens the zero goes over here and the request comes down okay so your request will be brought down and if the pulse has not come that means uh, if the sorry if the acknowledgement has not been seen yet so then what happens you have a feedback like this so it is set to one so that keeps on feeding to this so that means it the request will be continued uh, it uh, the request will be high uh, till you see the acknowledgement from the destination domain okay so this is the technique which is called as a handshake based uh, you know synchronization technique so this is kind of an industry standard people they use it of course there will be some kind of modifications also done uh, for this based upon their requirements or maybe if they have some if they have seen some kind of you know bug in this design right, they might uh, you know change this uh, design but this is the basic structure through which you can do a handshake uh, based uh, synchronization I hope this concept is clear to you guys and I see like many people are asking for this uh, you know um, uh, synchronization handshake based synchronizer or fast to do slow and slow to fast so in all of these cases you can use this you know handshake based synchronization technique so I hope uh, all of this uh, information is uh, clear and I hope that I'll come up with the more videos on next in the next my videos like you know on the timing and lessons like what is the setup time hold time and uh, how do we calculate the setup time and hold time in uh, you know for any given design right like uh, that is a uh, static timing analysis and all right so I'll cover those topics in my next video please uh, do subscribe to my channel so that it motivates me to come up with the more videos thank you